We're following some breaking news, this time involving Missouri Congresswoman Cori Bush, who's also a member of the so-called squad. Just coming in, congressional correspondent Kilmany Ducart joining us live on Capitol Hill. She's got the details. Kilmany. Sean and Emma, good morning. This came to light late yesterday afternoon. The House Sergeant at Arms announcing that it had received a subpoena by the Justice Department. Early reports pointed to a House Democrat for allegedly misusing security funds from their members' representational allowance. Uh, this was actually brought to light on the House floor. The House clerk reading this as part of uh, a routine disclosure on the House floor. And, of course, we can now report that, according to six sources that were sourced by one of these Capitol Hill newsletters, Punchbowl, they are saying that this has to do with Missouri Democrat Congresswoman Cori Bush. Uh, she was questioned by reporters late last night about this inv investigation. She reportedly declined to comment and actually reprimanded that reporter for approaching her because she had a toothache. Um, she, of course, was first elected to the House in 2020. And again, a watchdog has demanded that the Federal Election Commission, the FEC, investigate uh, the $62,000 that Congresswoman Bush paid her now husband as a security guard from her campaign account. Um, and back in 2021, also important to note that Bush had taken heat for spending $500,000 on private security despite her impassioned pleas to, quote unquote, defund the police. Now, again, bombshell news here on Capitol Hill. Uh, important to note, she's not the only Democrat here on Capitol Hill under investigation. Democratic Senator Bob Menendez is also under investigation. Um, but we want to play for you again how we heard about this news, the reading of this from the House floor clerk. Take a listen. The Honorable the Speaker, House of Representatives, sir, this is to notify you formally, pursuant to Rule 8 of the Rules of the House of Representatives, that the office of the Sergeant at Arms for the House of Representatives has been served with a grand jury subpoena for documents issued by the U.S. Department of Justice. After consulting with the Office of General Counsel, I have determined that compliance with the subpoena is consistent with the rights and privileges of the House. Signed sincerely, William P. McFarland, Sergeant at Arms of the House of Representatives. Yeah. And we have reached out to Congresswoman Cori Bush's team for a comment. We are waiting to hear back right now, uh, as well as the Justice Department, for more details about this investigation. Sean and Emma will bring you those details as we have them.